Let's see how we can create a layout pretty quickly from a layer template and the three speed scrap scripts. As you can see here, I did bind all three scripts and I put them into a custom toolbar. So it's going to be only a one-click process. So from this template, let's duplicate it just always to make sure. We can minimize this one. And let's start with the photo. So I just activate that photo layer. Since it's a photo, I just click on the photo script. It allows me to open the photo I want and places it directly onto the layout. Slightly larger so I can move it around if I want. Or I can resize it too if I want. And when I'm done, I can right click, merge, merge group, or I can use the merge group rename script which would give me the same result but keeping the name of the file I use. This is the photo name. Now let's go for the frame around this photo. Since it's going to be made of paper, I'll click on the paper script. So now I'll open the paper I want. And I have the option to merge it right away. As you can see now it's merged and I kept also the name of the file used. Let's go with this main paper. Again it's a paper. And I'll use maybe just a green. Same thing, I can merge. How about the background? Again, it's a paper. And I'll use a white. and I can merge again. Now let's go for those little ribbons here. I don't have ribbons in this kit that I'm using but I can make those little strips out of papers too so let's use the paper script and maybe I'll use a different green Same process, I merge, and I'll go for this other one at the bottom. Again, paper. But this time I'm going to be using a pattern. And as you can see, the pattern is a little bit big, so I won't merge it right now. I'll keep it, and it will just tell me that it keeps the group. Here you can see it's still here. So what I'll do, I'll just move it a bit and resize it down, making sure I'm not losing my handle here. I still have room to resize and something like this. And since I can also move it, I can move it down until I can see maybe part of the paper that I like. Like here I can see a bit more of those stars. I'm happy if I want to merge, I click on the merge. Now how about this little Rick Rack ribbon? I don't have a Rick Rack ribbon but among the elements there's something else I might use. So I click on the element and I'll go into the element folder and I have here a string, another one. I'll take this one. 
So as you can see, it's still larger than I need, but that's okay because it allows me to shrink it down since it would be harder to go up. So I have my little string here. How about those flowers? That's an element. Click on the element and I'll take this red flower. Automatically it's placed there, replace the part that was below and this flower, another element, I'll go for the white flower. So you have it now, you have all your elements in place. It's just up to you to add the various shadows, effects, or you can tweak things and add more than what was in the template. You can add your title, your journaling, and whatever you want to customize this layout. But you can see how fast it was to place all those elements, resize them, and place them in the right location to match the template. Now it's up to you.